I dug through the most recent Root Metrics report with tens of thousands of tests covering a couple thousand miles. Verizon was the overall winner in talk, text, and data performance. We wanted to see how those results would hold up in our own tests to help people like Louisa Glody, who hate bad cell service. It's pretty important to be on like the media, social media, getting hold of your family if you need to get hold of them. Cell phone expert Charlie Harb from Phone Ambulance in Mayfield Heights helped with the five on your side phone tests. We used four Galaxy S5s, one from Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. Harb conducted data tests using the speedtest.net app from Ookla, which is a well-known, industry-endorsed program, says Harb. It's been around forever. It's reliable. Everybody's heard of it. We went to South Park Mall in Strongsville, Midway Mall in Elyria, and Great Lakes Mall in Menor, testing speeds and phone call quality in the food courts. These are very impressive numbers. In hallways and stores. It's got to travel through a lot of stuff before it... Uh can make it back to the tower. And outside. T-Mobile speed test. At each location, some carriers did not perform very well, like Sprint in the food court at South Park. The Sprint signal is barely one bar, so that's probably uh, an explanation as to why these numbers are so bad. Or T-Mobile in the hallway. Uh, it's really bad. It's definitely the worst we've uh, made down here. Verizon outside of Great Lakes Mall barely registered any data strength. But there were much better results for Verizon. Its download speed at the food court in South Park was the best score of any of our tests all day. Holy cow. But when we broke down all the numbers, the overall winner for data speed was T-Mobile. It had the best average for all three locations, followed by AT&T. And for the phone calls... When you're talking about signal strength, Verizon, hands down. Verizon was the overall best, then T-Mobile. Sprint really struggled during most of our tests, despite its recent upgrade to LTE service right here in Cleveland. Louise tells us she doesn't need her cell phone to struggle. It's very frustrating. You're trying to, you're talking to someone, and all of a sudden it's like, hello, you're still talking and nobody's there. I'm Five on Your Side consumer advocate, Jonathan Walsh.